Greetings Saints, this is your Rector, the Reverend Tom Ceramic Jr. and I'm coming to you from the uh, playground right next to the church and I'm coming to you from this playground because it seemed a uh, uh, wonderful place to uh, sit and enjoy the afternoon sunshine on this gorgeous uh, August day. I know we're about to experience uh, a heat wave and uh, high winds and uh, some fire danger and things. So. Uh, enjoy uh, what, what we have while we have it and um, get ready for another several days of heat. Uh, that also reminds me to uh, please uh, keep the uh, Episcopal Diocese of Hawaii and especially the people of Maui uh, in your prayers. Uh, I know many of you uh, have, like me, enjoyed uh, vacationing on Hawaii Island and uh, the other islands of Hawaii and Maui and uh, apparently Lahaina uh, that uh, several of us have, I'm sure, seen and enjoyed uh, is essentially no more. Uh, it has been overrun by fire and uh, devastated. So uh, if you uh, would like to help uh, financially, you can do uh, donate to the Diocese of Hawaii directly on the web. Uh, you can also, die, uh, I'm sure, uh, donate to Episcopal Relief and Development, which I'm sure will be working with the Diocese of Hawaii on uh, recovery uh, processes and helping uh, house people who are newly homeless and just doing all of the things that uh, need to be done in the wake of a disaster. But uh, I also wanted to uh, just connect all of this with the scriptures for Sunday. Uh, the Old Testament lesson is Elijah, who's been uh, run out of town by the people and uh, is despairing and uh, finally goes to God and God basically says, what are you doing here, Elijah? And Elijah says, well, you know, I'm in trouble. The people, your people have uh, violated your laws and, uh, sent and sh uh, driven me out and I am, uh, I'm in a bad spot. And uh, God responds to Elijah's need with uh, grace and with rest and uh, with then uh, allowing him to uh, take a deep breath and also to um, to choose su um, some successors to uh, help him in his in his ministry uh, and then we also have uh, the gospel passage is Jesus walking on the water uh, Jesus having uh, went up to the mountain to pray like he often did and uh, is now walking, uh, walking to meet the disciples on the water, and uh, Peter's famous phrase, "If this is you, Lord, uh, command you know, uh, invite me out onto the water to walk toward you." And the whole story of the faith and fear warring between each other uh, for uh, in, P in Peter's heart and mind. So we are, of course, in a world of both faith and fear. We. Uh, have certainly here in Oregon experienced wildfires like they have in Maui, uh, and we certainly know the fear that that inspires. Uh, we know that uh, God is there with them as God is here with us, and we also know that in the midst of all of the busyness and all of the fear and all of the things that are going on, um, that God invites us to step back, to step out of the rat race, to step away from our fear into the a Sabbath of faith and to uh, do the work that God has given us to do, but also uh, to rest the rest that God has given us to rest. So I invite you in these waning weeks of summer, if you haven't already done so, to uh, take a vacation, even if it has to be a staycation, uh, to enjoy the blessings that God has given you, to pray for those who don't have those blessings, uh, and to uh, Prepare yourself in heart and mind uh, to plunge into the fall as we plunge into our fall uh, program year and as we uh, continue to do the work uh, that we have been given by God to do. So continue to pray for us, pray for your vestry, pray for me, uh, and we will see you soon. God bless.